Hey guys, what's up? So, back here, doing a couple videos on my these uh, new EV14 injectors. And, uh, yeah, I'm doing a conversion on these, but I wanted to thoroughly clean these things. So I already back flushed them already. I did have a video on that. But now I just want to actually run on my ultrasonic cleaner for about 15 minutes each. And there's not really a good, lot of good information on the internet about what kind of solution to use. Some people say use water, um, but I don't want to put water inside my injector. So that's, to me, it's... And I also bought some other stuff on my other injector video, but this this B, B, B12 chem tool, the Berryman, basically has an acetone in it, man. It's, it's, it smells very, very harsh. And it's almost like it deteriorates plastic. So let me if I can put that there. See that some of that there? When I was cleaning my injectors on the other thing, it got on there, right? Look at it, it's almost like it dissolves the plastic. So you gotta be really careful with the Berryman because it dissolves rubber and plastic. And I've, I've seen that before with my, I have, a big, I have a big can of carb cleaner, like the dip, carb dip too, and that dissolves plastic and rubber. So, I know the, the sea foam is a lot less harsh, and this is like a pure petroleum distillate. Whereas this is like a petroleum distillate and like an acetone product. Like it's, uh, it says right there what it is. Let's see. Um, Contains tulene, uh, methanol, acetone, but yeah, this stuff smells way harsher than sea foam. So I, this, I think this would probably melt the plastic. So even though this is probably a special kind of fuel-proof plastic, but I don't want to take a chance. I, I got this. So yeah, I'm gonna run this in there and uh, pour it. Get it going. It's pretty much. Get those things. Let's see what we got going here. Okay, that's probably enough. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the basket in there because I want this to. I want the the, the contaminants to follow the bottom. So I'm hoping I can. This will be enough to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the rubber seals off to. I just want to basically cover both sides of it. I guess in some videos you see it doing this and it kind of back flows out, but I'm going to lay this flat and make sure the connector doesn't go get submerged and put like a little piece of wood here, but you'll see. All right. Yeah, having a little pick tool like this makes it a lot easier to get around there and get that seal off like that. So, all right. All right, guys. So, I'm going to set my uh, pulse tool to option four, which is continuous pulse. So now you can hear that so I can pulse them in there. Let's start this thing. Yeah, actually, you have a little heat. You got to be careful because this is a flammable liquid. So make sure you have good ventilation. You know how many flames are sparked by. So I set the timer to 15 minutes. Let's go. There you go. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my uh, fire extinguisher close by. Just in case, just right here. Hi right, guys. Hopefully this doesn't melt my injector, but well, I mean, if this fails my injectors, uh, at least you know what not, not to do. <laughs> Don't do what I do. <laughs> this thing fails, so. Oh yeah, I have the tape on there to keep the judger out so it doesn't submerge fall over. Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Hopefully this works. Hey guys, what's up? So that's my uh, first injector. Almost running out here. Alright, you can still hear it pulsing. All right, so that's my first injector right there, guys. So let me take this off. I can't do it with one hand. I'll take it off and I'll show you uh, side by side what a unclean one and what a clean one looks like. All right. All right, so maybe you can see the magnifying glass. I'm not sure. All right, so that's a clean one. That's an unclean one right there. So, look at this. It's pretty hot. I, I, I actually, I turned the, the heater off, man. So it's freaking heating up even just the, the heat by itself was just the 
ultrasonic cleaner alone was generating heat, so. Um, All right, so I'll get the next director on. I'll do the whole set of eight, 15 minutes each. And uh, hopefully this works. Seafoam. All right, cool. All right, guys, so there they are. All ultrasonic cleaned. It's kind of dark out now, but I hope you can see that. See the dirt on the bottom right there? So I don't know if that's actually from inside or the injector body. I'd say most likely probably the injector body, but I mean these actually injectors look like they're in fairly good shape, so. Alright, also what I, what's weird is I know the, I noticed the orientation. Like I'm not sure if that specifically means something. I'm, I'm gonna Google that and try to figure that out, but it's little markings. But they go a certain way though. So So they're designed to go four on each side. But I don't know what the direction is, if that means it's a special specific spray spade pattern. Or what? But all right, so that's fuel pulse icing tool. That's it, guys. Cool, awesome. So I'm gonna put these on the truck tomorrow and uh, get it going. Awesome.